All right, today we're gonna to talk about sequences and these are different from patterns. The reason why they're different is because patterns can change. So there isn't a set thing. So for example, when we were looking at growing patterns, so for example, we had star, circle, star, circle, circle, star, circle, circle, circle. Okay, and then the next one would be star, four circles. A growing pattern, that's something that could change, okay? This um, is not the same with sequences. Sequences are more of a rule, okay? Sequences have rules. They say, well, you're adding 25 each time, okay? So for example, here is the rule for this first one. Rule, add 25, and then they'll give you a starting point, 25. Well, add 25, you get 50. Add 25, you get 75. Add 25, you get 100, okay? So sequences have rules that are meant to be followed, okay? So I'm gonna show you one and I want you to figure it out. So here is your rule. Your rule is to add seven and your starting point is eight. Go ahead and continue it on for the next four terms. Terms mean the numbers. All right, so eight plus seven gives us 15 plus seven more gives us 22 plus seven more gives us 29 plus seven more gives us 36. Okay. So then we want to make an observation about it. Well, I notice that both the ones places are odd and even it doesn't really matter. Or that they go uh, even, odd, even, odd, even, okay? So sometimes we wanna make an observation about it just so that we are pointing out what's going on, okay? I'm gonna give you another one. So here is the rule. You are going to divide by two. And your first starting term is 64, and I want you to take it out for four more. All right, 64 divided by two, that's gonna give us 32, divided by two, 16, divided by two, eight, divided by two, four, okay? So I just went ahead and I kept taking it on. Let's do one more problem and then I'll have you guys go ahead and practice on your own. So here's what we're gonna say. Each pumpkin costs $8. Jamie has already bought $24 worth of pumpkins. Suppose he buys five more pumpkins. How much will, <clears throat> excuse me, he spend in all he buys he buys each pumpkin and we're going to write a sequence All right 
So each pumpkin costs $8. Jamie has already bought $24 worth of pumpkins. Uh, suppose he buys five more pumpkins. How much will he spend in all after he buys each pumpkin? Write a sequence. Go ahead and try that on your own. All right, so our rule is adding $8 every time because each pumpkin is $8. Our starting point is 24 because he's already bought that many more. And he's going to buy two, three, four, five, four pumpkins. So we need to go ahead and add eight every time. 24 plus eight, that is going to give me, wow, 32 plus eight, it's going to give me 40 plus eight it's gonna give me 48 plus eight it's gonna give me 56 plus eight it's gonna give me 64. so he's gonna spend 64 dollars in total so what i observe about this pattern is that we're actually just or i'm sorry this sequence is that we're actually just multiplying by eight so one more group of eight, one more group of eight, one more group of eight. These are all multiples of eight. So sequences are not that difficult. Once you figure out what the rule is, you just keep going and going until it asks you to stop.